I flew to the academy because I don't know which other way to go here to get there. Uh, but I believe it is right across this mountain, which I'm pretty sure I can get to by just climbing over this rock. So there might be an actual way to go about this, but I don't know the actual way. So I'm going to take the shortcut. Did I just get sent back? Am I not allowed to go that way? Huh. They just straight CP'd me here. Okay. Oh, what are you? What are you? Hello. Oh. One of those coins. Hmm. Excuse me. Pardon me. There's a lot of you running around here. What level are you guys? Eight. Huh? Am I heading the right way? There's no way this is the, the path to the Pokemon League, right? Y'all are so low leveled here. All right. Let's head on to the Poke Center. There was some person over there who it seemed like they were asking me if I was taking on the Pokemon League. And they had a different dialogue box color. Like it was black with white lettering, which I don't think I've seen that yet in the, in the game. So I'm not sure if they're going to give me an item. I'll go ahead and talk to them real quick because if it is an item, I might want it. So let's check it out. It's this person over here. The reason I didn't talk to them immediately is because my Pokemon were knocked out from the ice battle gym. Do I want to fight you? Uh, sure. Why not? Let's try it out. Oh, no, you just really want to battle. You look like you've got promise, kid. Let's give you a challenge to grow on. Okay. You see, why do they give this cabbie a special dialogue box? Is it to trick me into talking to them? Maybe I'll get something fancy thinking if I beat them. Okay, let's go with... I actually don't know what's super effective here. Uh, let's go with Dragon Claw, I guess. Ooh, nice. I've been getting a lot of crits. That will play. How dare they? All right, let's try Dragon Claw again. Knock them out here. Easy. I am going to have to get some PP restores for uh, Catnip's flower move flower trick let's keep mullet in for bronzong since they are a steel type we can use flamethrower easy oh we don't have worse elements there we go that was super effective didn't feel super effective didn't taste super effective uh let's try flamethrower again i wonder this does Rainy Dance... There's a... Oh, I was, was going to answer my question. I didn't know if uh, Rainy Dance made it so uh, fire-type moves were weaker. You are lowering Mullet's effectiveness a lot, and Mullet is still clapping cheeks. Future Sight. Using a lot of moves that require... Oh, wait, can I... Is Dragon Claw super effective against Steel types? Or Dragon type moves? I don't remember. Hmm. On the bright side, I think that we'll still knock out Bronzong before they get a chance to use Future Sight. It's incredible. Nice. We're going to switch out Mullet here. Oh, nice. Catnip leveled up to 68. Oh, no. Oh, it's at one. Let's go. Let's go, mullet. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll switch out. Let's go with... I didn't even see what Pokemon they were sending out. Let's go with Catnip here. Why not? If anything, we can just use U-Turn. So, not that big of a deal. Oh. Oh, I don't... You're a fire type, aren't you? This is very bad for us. Uh, Let's go with U-Turn. There we go. And... Tag out because I'm pretty sure that's a fire type. It looks like a fire type. Feels like a fire type. Let's send out lips here. I wonder if intimidate works immediately or after it does. It, it works immediately. Okay, this is good. Sword dance. I know that's a good move. 
So let's go ahead and not have that be a good move. Let's use Waterfall. And hopefully this will knock out. Yep, perfect. Good job. Good job, Lips. Lips has done so much for this team. I do kind of wish Teddy has done more, or did more in general. Did you get some growth out of that? No, I just kind of clapped cheeks as I've been doing my entire journey. I didn't even get an item out of that. Can you give me an item? Hmm. Nope, did not give me an item. Just wasted my time. Okay, so I just stocked up on Hyper Potions, Full Restores, and Revives. If I can see them, there we go. Some Revives. We have 50 Revives now. I should probably load up on some Full Heals. Just in case, maybe. Let's grab... Let's grab 14 of them just so I have an even 20. And I think that'll be good. Okay. Nope, that's all. Thank you. Thank you for the help. Whew. Okay. This should be enough to take on the elite. Hello. I didn't know that greasy hair from anywhere. Rhyme would have been proud of that. Hello. Hello, Jen. So, this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Jen. I look forward to meeting you again soon. Nice. I wonder if I can recharge my Terra Orb between battles. Or if it's just... Oh, hello. Didn't think you were going to blockade the way from me. Yeah, I'm ready. Jen from Uva Academy. I have all eight badges. All right. I can get an interview? Am I applying for a job? I'm still a child. I know I'm kind of like on my own adventure that a child probably shouldn't be on, but still. Okay. Thank you for coming today. Hi. Please, do have a seat. Hmm. Okay. Irika will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Indeedy, I do. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you wouldn't mind, Jen. Please think carefully, as you may automatically fail the interview, depending on your answers. Let's begin. I could fail this? There's no way. How'd you get here today? Uh, rode on my Pokemon. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you are enrolled in. Pretty sure it's still Uva Academy. That hasn't changed. That's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? Uh, Just for fun. I see. That concludes this interview. One of the staff will let you know the results. Thank you again for your time. Now, please excuse me. I hope that wasn't the... Uh, I really hope there isn't the wrong answer. I mean, I guess the, the Academy one probably is a wrong answer. How'd that happen? How'd what happen? How'd what happen? Did I fail? Don't tell me I failed. I will take this interview again and I will ace it the second time. If the issue is that I'm here for fun, I understand. Not, not allowed to have fun here. I get it. You were the anti-fun police. Now, regarding the results of the interview portion of your champion assessment. I'm sorry to say... I, there's no way! There's no way! Hmm. Bro, there's no way. Let me back in there. I want to talk to Rika. Yes, I am ready. There's no way they failed me because I said I want to have fun. You killjoys. I'll play your little game. I will clap all of your cheeks and then I'm going to change the rules of this establishment. I will tear down these walls board by board. Hello. Yes, yes, the interviewer. Yeah, the champion assessment interview. Let's see. Yeah, I still have eight. That hasn't changed. You're acting like you didn't ask me all these questions a second ago. Yes, yes, automatically fail all that jazz. Uh, I still rode in on my Pokemon. Uva Academy. And... Become a champion. Indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Apparently not for fun. Can't have fun here. Anti-fun, please. Now, what do you intend to do if you, uh, if and when you become a champion? Uh... Become stronger. Maybe. I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? I, 
Actually, I don't remember. Uh, honestly, the the gym that gave me the most difficulty wasn't even an actual gym. It was that uh, airy boss from Team Star. We'll say uh, Lavincia. We'll go with that one. I see. And what was the name of? <gasps> oh, Nunny! I probably should have went with the one that had rhyme. Uh, but I don't remember the uh, gym area that that was in. What was Lavincia? Was Lavincia the electric gym? Because that would be Iona, right? The annoying Twitch streamer. Oh, I should have gone with the one that we just did with Grusha. I'm gonna just go with Iono. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna pray because I have nothing. I have no I no idea what else it would be. Oh, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. But do you remember which type of Pokemon? I'm pretty sure it was electric. I answered that one with a swiftness. I'm assuming I'm right. Oh, thinking. Nice. Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Jen. Not really. I saw a lot. Didn't fight a lot. What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Uh, the grass cat. Sprigatito. I can't believe there's an actual interview. Please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Remind me, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? I want to be stronger. That hasn't changed. Let me be stronger. And don't tell me that's a, that's a wrong answer. You are wrong. Your opinion is wrong. If you're telling me my opinion of what I want to do is wrong, you're wrong. You sickened me, Rika. Sickened me. The final question for this interview. Hmm? Do you like Pokemon? What? what? And if I say no, what are you going to do? <laughs> you going to battle me? Huh? That's why I'm here. Fight me. Face me. I love Pokemon. Are we good? Good job, kiddo. Thank you. That about wraps up the interview. So we're all good, I'm assuming. Let me be the first to congratulate you, Jen. You just passed the first part of the champ. The first? First part? Part? Uh, but anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The second segment is what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon battles. Oh, as expected. It's kind of what I thought would happen when I got here. It's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we're the best the league has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row. No turning back. This won't be a cakewalk. I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready. Then go into the room behind me. All right. Ooh, all right. I don't know who's first. So I'm going to send out... I'm going to start with... Ah, let's start with Lips. Then we'll send out Catnip afterwards. I'm still mad that they failed me for saying I wanted to have fun. This looks like a lot of blue here. Is this going to be an ice-type battle? Either ice or water is what I'm getting from this. Oh, you're first, Rika. Hello. Some shiny boots. Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast. The expression on your face changed very fast. Okay. Let's see what you got. You're a water type gym. Or water type Elite Four member. That's the cutest tiny whale. I'm finally at the battle. You have been looking forward to this. Don't give up too soon. Me? Give up? What level is your Pokemon? What level is that Pokemon? 57. Okay, we can take this. Uh, let's use Dragon Dance here. Lips should be able to survive. I might use Dragon Dance twice. And then use Crunch. Future Sight. What if I don't use an attack? What if I just Dragon Dance again? What are you going to say to that, huh? Your Future Sight was wrong. Idiot. Dummy. Dumb, stupid idiot. Little dumb whale. Blizzard. Very bad for us. Oh, good job, Lips. Good dodge. Let's use Crunch here. 
Nice. That wasn't enough. That's unfortunate. Oh, no. Oh, I thought that would do way more. Oh, and we're frozen. Okay. All right. So it did more. I like that it actually freezes the... the po oh, lips. No. Oh, stuck in... Stuck in time. Can we please thaw out of this future slate again? You jerk. Can I... Should I use... Uh, oh, there we go. I was going to say, should I use... A... Full... He uh, uh, lips is still stuck in time. I'm not sure if they're actually thawed out or not. Donfin? I kind of... Don't want to switch out here. But Lips is still stuck. Lips is still... In their own different time period. Uh, waterfall should be insane here. Bro, Lips it has not... Bro, huh? Oh, sturdy. Okay. Stone Edge? Oh, this is bad. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Oh, that's unfortunate. That's so unfortunate, bro. Well, you know what? We did what we could. Lips was kind of trapped. So, let's go with... Let's go with Catnip here. There we go. And then use a flower trick. Oh, pa. Wonder what the next move is going to be. The next Pokemon. Lips was knocked out really easily, but good thing we have all these revives to use. Camerupt. Uh, this would have been great for Lips. Uh, let's go and switch out for Overbite because we have the ground type move. Knock out Camerupt. Okay, we should be good still. I don't think there... Hopefully there isn't a Pokemon that just can sweep us. Either way, I think Overbite should be able... Overbite, uh, Mullet, and I guess Gyarados at the time would it should have been enough for this team. Nice. Because... I know, I know Gyarados is not a pseudo-legendary, but... Salamence, Dugtrio. We'll switch back to Catnip. Salamence and Garchomp are pseudo legendaries, I believe. So, honestly, I don't think there's a team in the Elite Four that can probably take us on. Assuming that we don't get to the end, they're like level 80. Because then, yes, they will they will destroy us. Because that would be that would hit different, very different, if they were all that high level. I didn't pick up any PP restores. I just realized that. That's so unfortunate for me. But it also doesn't look like this team is themed around anything. Are the Elite Four in Pokemon Scarlet and Vi Violet not themed? Claude Sire? Don't remember what that is. We'll, we'll keep catnip in. Impressive. You really are something else, kiddo. Thank you, thank you. Oh. It looks... Is it alive? Let's finish this. Go on, Claude Sire. Shake things up. I don't want to Terrestrialize here because I'm pretty sure... Assuming this is like every other uh, Pokemon game, I cannot get Terra, uh, my Terra Orb recharged because I can only do it at Pokemon Center or in some situations I get it back from Arden. But I'm pretty sure it probably will not be possible to do that while facing off against this Elite Four. Nice. Look, fl Flower Trick is such a strong move. Let's go. Easy peasy. Good job. Hmm? Thinking? Not bad, kiddo. I just wiped the floor with you talking about not bad. You mean great? Immaculate even? Magnificent? Talk about unfair. No way I was ever going to win that one. Still though, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. I'm, I'm still mad at you for making me miss the champion assessment test interview because I said I wanted to have fun. You sickened me, Rika. Sickened me. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past the elite test, but who knows? I'm beginning to think you might be one of the few that do, Jen. Better stay on your toes, though. The second of the elite four is stronger than me. You're up next, Squirt. Come on out. Oh, wait. Are we facing them back to back to back without, like, a small gap in between? No? 
Oh, wow. Did you lose Rika? Yeah, I did. He's no pushover, let me tell you. I'll be watching from the side. Avenge me if you can, eh? You bet I will. Do I get like a second? I do. Okay. Blessed. Okay. I do have elixirs, so we should be good. I don't think I need to use it yet. Okay. We should be good. We'll still head on with uh, Gyarados with lips. Just to get the, the Intimidate off and see... Well, honestly, I don't... It doesn't feel like there's a theme. Also, again, why is there a child in the Elite Four? It's so cool you made it this far. This is where you say bye-bye, mister. All my Pokemon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll bounce right off. You'll see. I can't wait for you to meet my friends. So here they come. This child's kind of scary. This, this ch child kind of scares me. Poppy of the Elite Four. Oh. Is that ground type? thinking i don't know probably should have fought one raja smush him raja oh i see because he got it from the end of that name okay uh let's use waterfall here you could probably get away with using dragon dance oh not super effective and they put stealth rock up this is so unfortunate on the bright side Maybe in the waterfall will make them flinch. Thinking. Oh, nice. That wasn't even a crit. We just did a lot more damage the second waterfall. Let's go Magna Zone. Uh, I do want to switch out. But at the same time, I don't because of Stealth Rock. So we'll we'll wait till we're forced to switch out. Because ideally, I want to switch out into Mullet. To... Be able to use flamethrower, but really didn't want to. Oh no! Oh, let's go! Good job, lips. Oh, and their para. All right. Well, lips tried their best. Maybe I should have switched out for uh, what's his face? Mullet. Unfortunate. You did your best, Lips, though. See what you had to do. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's go with... See, I, I, I think because Magna Zone is floating, I don't think that the ground-type moves we have on Overbite will work. So, I think we just go with... Maybe Mistletoad? I mean, I guess Catnip can probably destroy him with Flower Trick. I just really hate that Stealth Rock is a move right now. Okay, let's use Flower Trick. Hopefully this knocks them out. Oh, it didn't. I was hoping that the crit would be enough. I knew that it wasn't super effective, but that's unfortunate. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good still. All right, Flower Trick should be enough here. Never missed it. As far as, did it, did it say it never missed? I don't remember if it said it never misses. But I do know it says that it always crits. Good job. Corviknight. Is that... I don't know what that is. So we'll go with... Over... I really hate that I'm doing this, but I don't want another situation like the one with lips. So I think we just have to just deal with the fact that Stealth Rock is out. Let's see. Oh! Oh! It's a flying Pokemon. Mm. I still... I've never found out what pressure is. Let's go with... Dragon Claw. Oh, I don't know why... Is this a Steel Flying type? A crit? That's unfortunate. Do you think a Sandstorm would hit? I don't remember. I don't know if Sandstorm would hit. Or Sand Tomb. Yep. All right. I see, I kind of assumed that because it's a ground type move against a flying type. But at the same time, I was hoping because. Maybe. <laughs> uh, let's just use Crunch here. Uh, it, what's unfortunate is that. Oh, he's going to knock himself out. Oh, it didn't even knock out. Overbite. Let's go. Finish him off with Crunch. Just one nibble. Let's go. 
I think we're going to keep Overbite in and just have, have him sacrifice himself because Bronzong. This would have been a great time for Mullet, but because of the fact that if we take him out, he's going to die to Stealth Rock, I say we just let it happen. Oh, wait. Completely forgot. I, there's no way Bronzong is affected by ground side moves, right? I thought because he's levitating that it doesn't affect him. Let's just go with Crunch and hope that he does enough. Oh, it was close. It was close. That's unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. Okay. Either way, we should be fine. Let's send out Mullet. And then Mullet should be able to take this one out completely. I hate that Stealth Rock affects Mullet when Mullet is literally, literally levitating. Literally. Flamethrower. Nice. Wonder what the next Pokemon is. Yeah, the Elite Four used to have themes, right? Like, am I wrong? Think a ton. Uh, don't know what that is. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep going with uh with Mullet here. I'm not scared. My last Pokemon will turn things around. But I'm pretty sure the Elite Four used to. Oh, oh, you know what? That's scary. That reminds me of Reinhardt. I don't know what's good against this. Let's try Zen Headbutt, maybe. It's time to get dressed up all pretty, Tinky. Oh, this is very bad. I don't know what type of Pokemon this is. It may be a Steel type. They did have a lot of Steel types, so maybe. Oh, wait. Did it just turn into a Steel type? It did. I'm pretty sure that means it's a Steel type now. So maybe Flamethrower was the move. It avoided that attack? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. Uh, I say we just go with flamethrower here. Yep. Unfortunate that steel hard Pokemon always get a solid victory, so I'm going to win. I mean, I guess there is kind of a theme, right? This one is a steel type. The previous one was... Oh, my God. Earth shattered me. Oh, the previous one was a, kind of like a ground type. Uh... Do we go with Mistletoad here? I say we do. Send out Mistletoad. And then we'll use Sucker Punch. Aw, oh, I didn't do as much as I thought it would. Oh, let's go, Mistletoad. Good job. Uh, And let's go with Poison Jab. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dodge this? Question mark? Nope. Poison. It doesn't affect. Ah, oh, I forgot. Poison doesn't affect steel types. I'm stupid. Okay. We're going to use a revive here. We're going to use a revive on Overbite. And this will knock out Mr. Toad. Unfortunate. But we can now use Overbite and hopefully not get knocked out i haven't seen a lot of max revives uh let's go with bulldoze i think overbite's faster okay blessed nice let's go that is a scary pokemon What are you? You, I, you have reverted to baby. I don't know what you're saying to me. I wanted to take revenge on you, Rika. Pretty sure you mean take revenge for me, Squirt. Don't think I did anything wrong by you. Hate to say it, but you lost, Poppy. Better call the next guy. Well, that's right. I haven't had to do this in a long time. Oh? Well, it's your turn, Mr. Larry. Larry? The normal gym leader? Bra? 
Huh? Hello there, it's me, Larry. Bro? What, uh, what is the, uh, was the other job not paying enough? You have to work a, a part-time shift as an Elite Four member? All right. All revived, all rejuvenated, ready for Larry. Yep. Let's go. So you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite Four too. Yes, unfortunately for me. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But, well, the boss told me to use a different type here. So if you have any any complaints, please take them up with La Primera. All right. Anyway, time to get to work. Hmm. All right, Larry. We meet again. I wonder who's the strongest Elite Four. Or which region has the strongest Elite Four. It's probably the one with, uh, with Leon, right? Well, I'll be trying my hand with the flying type Pokemon this time. All right, so they're flying types. So I just think I might be able to wipe the floor from lips. Oh, they held on. Sunny day. Okay, I lied. So they do have a theme going on here. Uh, let's go with ice thing again. Oh, this is unfortunate. This is so unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Oh, it didn't do a lot. But it would do a lot more than that. Easy. I like the way that I like the way that the uh, other Pokemon look up at uh at lips. Uh yeah, we'll keep our current Pokemon. I can probably get one dragon dance off. And just one shot everybody. So we'll try that. Oh well now we kinda need to tag out, so. Let's go. Let's use Ice Fang. Screw it. Let's just go for it. If it's not enough, it's not enough. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's never enough, is it? All right, let's go with... Let's go with Mullet here. To throw Intimidate on Star Raptor. And then... Mullet doesn't really have any moves that are super effective against flying types as far as I remember. But it is what it is. It didn't knock itself out. It did not. Okay. Yeah, it does not have any super effective moves. But we can just keep using Dragon Claw. So it's faster than Mullet. It's going to knock itself out. Easy. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Uh, yeah, we'll switch out. We'll go with Lips again. Hopefully, Intimidate will be enough to survive at least one attack. All right, cool. We are. F oh, nice. Didn't even need more than one attack. Didn't need more than zero attacks. Good job, Lips. You're doing great. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going. Oh, what is that? Ground type moves might affect this one. Ice Fang again. Oh, it did not. Did not knock them out in one. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that, that move attacks. That's an offensive move. It seemed like it would be a stat boost move. Uh, let's use overbite here. Might be good since this flying type is on the ground. Not sure if it works that way, but we'll try it. Bulldoze. Yep. All right. Even though they're firmly planted. Understandable. Speed fell. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Uh, we'll just use. Yep. Teeter dance. Is that also an, uh? Oh, it just confuses them. Okay. Please. Don't fall for the confusion. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hit him with Dragon Claw. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't be an idiot. You idiot. You idiot. You dummy dumb. Pseudo legendary for what? Now look at you. Frozen. Dead even. Sicken me. Sicken me. All right. Let's throw Mullet out there. They'll get hit with Intimidate. And Mullet should be able to knock out this Pokemon pretty easily. Uh, let's go with Dragon Claw here. And they're faster. All right, bless. 
Okay, we're good. I'm still saving Terra, my Terra orb. Because it's always the champion. Flamigo. Uh, do we have any... I lost my ground type and my water type. So... Nah, we're just going for it. Just keep keep good old mullet out there. You're even stronger than before. I guess I don't get a break today. Hmm. Oh, I thought it would be... Uh, I, I generally thought it'd be uh, a fire type flying, flying fire type. At the risk of messing up my suit a bit, it's time to get some wind at our backs. Oh, Larry's such, such a cool uh, gym leader and elite four member now. The flying type thing is a bunch of balloons. That's cool. That is so cool. Nice. That was a decent amount of damage. I'd advise you to stay on your toes because I'm about to scatter you to the wind. Brave Bird. What's with y'all using Brave Bird? Did that knock you out? Well, I didn't knock out Mullet, but it did knock you out. Thinking. Was it enough? It was not enough. Okay. Teddy. This might be the best time for you to shine. If you're faster, this is perfect. Hit him with wild charge. Get him, Teddy. Gah! Let's go. Teddy ending the battle. Oh, that's some drama. They're always so dramatic when they get knocked out in terraform. Nice. Let's go, Teddy. He's so happy. Well, that took the wind from under our wings. All right, who is the final Elite Four member? We're speed running through all of you. You're a lot stronger than I recall. No wonder La Primera likes you. Now then, I suppose the final member of the Elite Four is next. It's your turn, Hassel. Hmm, thinking. Now, where could he be? Uh, I don't think he heard you, Larry. Come on in, Hassel. There, you may need to speak up just a little bit more. Hassle. Mm, he's getting angry. Hassle, you're up next. Oh, there he is. I'm allergic to you. Hello there, Jen. It delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again, hmm? No, oh, don't, don't you bully Larry here. Don't you bully him. Larry did what he had to do. He called for you. All right. All healed up. All good to go. Wonder what kind of Pokemon Hassel has. Yep. Ready to go. I was, of course, absolutely certain you would make it to me eventually. Young Sprouts truly do grow with astounding speed, yes. But I never for a moment imagined we would be facing each other so soon. In this... Like, how long did it take me in this game to get me to the Elite Four, right? Was it a day? Was it less than a day? Two days, maybe? I don't know how long it's been in the actual game time. Now, a teacher's duty is to guide students and aid their growth. But I think I shall forget about my role as a teacher for a moment. And wield all my might for the sole purpose of defeating you. I'm Hassel, the dragon guarding the final fortress of the elite test. Prepare to learn firsthand how the fiery breath of ferocious battle feels. Fixing up the suit. Hmm. All right, Hassel. Let's see what we got here. So we're going against dragon types. I don't know all of their... I'm going to go with dragon dance here. And then I'm pretty sure... I don't know what's super effective against uh, dragon types. Is it just ice thing? Would be, would be the best move here. I think it's ice. And... I only know ice... I don't know what else is super effective against uh, dragon types. So I'm going to just assume Ice Fang is good. Avoided it. All right. Super Fang. No. Ice Fang again, maybe? Question mark. Hit this time. Nice. All right. Dragalg. Uh, we'll keep going. I'm, it might be a good idea to switch between Lips and... Uh, what's his face? Lips and Mullet. I always forget Mullet's name. 
but uh i was hoping dragon dance would be enough like one dragon dance would be enough to start one shotting everybody with ice fang but guess not okay uh let's go with let's go with mullet here and i'm gonna see maybe dragon type because i'm pretty sure it was something stupid that i remember about dragon types i think dragon type moves are super effective against dragon types i think that was what was stupid or what I, what I thought was stupid i was right i was right i knew it there was something weird about dragon type uh pokemon that i remember as a kid not understanding and it was the fact that i guess i guess it was the fact that dragon type moves are somehow super effective against dragon types just blew my mind as a kid oh that's cute that's adorable let's keep using dragon claw wow dragon claw is insane that means that overbite and the mullet both have good good matchups here for me since they both know dragon claw still don't know what mold breaker is don't know what pressure is don't know what mold breaker is all i know is swing throw hands nice good job mullet at one shotting everybody back scalibur yeah let's go let's keep going only a little more until you pass don't let up don't plan on it don't plan on it at all all right is that an ice type uh we'll just keep going with dragon claw come on great dragon and take a terra jewel as your crown yeah all right it was a good idea didn't go with flamethrower i always forget this far into the game that terrestrializing just changes them to one type of pokemon so good thing i just stuck with it dragon claw should if it, if it isn't one shot it should be close to one shotting okay yeah icicle crash no wow i did not expect that the one shot mullet okay we should be good. Overbite should be able to handle this. We have not really used Catnip this fight, huh? Or this run at all. Let's go with Dragon Claw. Wapa. Nice. Good job. Easy. We have beaten the Elite Four. I'm assuming we're going to go against... Uh, oh, what was her name? Greta? I forgot her name. But La Primera. I'm assuming we're going to go against her. The mighty dragon has been felled. Free money. Money. Feeling like Mr. Krabs. You you really did it. Oh, wow. Huh. W wonderful. I'm, uh, I'm so proud of you. Uh, why, are you. Why are you so invested in me, Hassel? Don't cry, Grandpa Hassel. There, there. Want a hug? Hmm. Hi, Rika. Sorry about all this gen. The old man can get like that sometimes. So what about it? I just... I'm just so overwhelmed. Guess I've got to do the talking. Anyway, your result for the elite test of the champion assessment is... A pass. No doubt about it. Let's go! Yeah, you're tougher than steel. Yep. Bro, I love Larry. Larry's so cool. Yeah, he did, did so beautifully. Congratulations. I'd say you're good to go, but there's actually a, just a wee bit more of the champion assessment. This will be your final trial. See the door back there? Yep, that's the door. Our fearless commander, the final opponent you'll face for your test, is waiting beyond it. Her skills are so amazing. She was able to strong arm all of us into joining the Elite Four. You will find a mightier champion. Though, I think you'll do fine, kiddo. You beat me, after all. I'll patch up your team on the house, so don't lose, you hear? Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Then I that means I probably could have used my Terra Orb. I really love your Pokemon, mister. So I'll cheer for you as hard as I can. Well, uh, good luck. Even a baby dragon can breathe fire. Because <laughs> you got over your sobs, huh? You can do this. We all know you can. What was that, Larry? Good luck. Appreciate it. Now go, young Jen. Your hands may be small, but let them seize a gravy. Bro, what's with that backhanded compliment? My hands are normal size. You jerk. I'm 10 years old. Obviously, my hands are going to be a little tiny. 
Anyway, uh, we're all good here. I'm assuming we're gonna we're going against La Primera and not. It's either La Primera or Nimona, but I feel like it would not be Nimona because they said they were the mightiest champion. So I'm gonna assume it's or it might be Nimona because her icons in the bottom. I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be La, La Primera because they've been setting up La Primera to be like the the, the, the big boss of this. So I think. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. I was just thinking about the team comp and having lip start, but I feel like this it hasn't done us any wrong, so we'll keep going with it. Mm. Yep, there it is. Unless Nimona pops out from the shadows. Welcome, Jen. It gives me great joy that you've managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. The final test is a battle against me, the top champion. To pass, all you need to do is win. But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for the League Chairwoman. I am utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battle. Maybe that's why nobody's passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you, you might manage to, you might manage something wonderful, like Champion Nimona did. So, are you ready for your final test? I want to see the true measure of your talent. All right, fair enough. Let's go. Throw hands. Put them up. Put them paws up. You were challenged by top champion Gita. Her name is Gita, not Greta. Okay. Lips. Uh, don't know what type that is. I do hope you can defeat me and become a champion yourself. Land on it. Don't worry about me. Uh, it's a flying type though, so... Oh, crunch. There we go. It's almost 61. Oh, this is going to be a good battle. And I think I think she had six Pokemon, so. It is faster than Lips, which is unfortunate. Yes, that was the correct decision in this situation. Please continue. Don't, don't, don't give me that. Don't coach me. Like, I didn't just beat everybody you hired to prevent me from getting here. What are, what are you talking about? Why are you trying to coach me at this point? Oh, you're... You know, maybe that was the incorrect move to make there. Greta. Or I keep calling you Greta. Gita. Alright, we're good. King Gambit. Uh, we'll switch out. I don't know what King Gambit is, but sounds intimidating. So we'll go with Mullet here. To lower the attack a little bit. Why is Poppy just standing there? T-posing on me. Oh, what are you? You do look very intimidating. Look like a samurai. Who are you sitting there? Uh, I'm assuming you're steel type. So let's go with flamethrower? Question mark. Nice. It is indeed a uh, steel type. Dodge. Let's go. Let's go, mullet. Uh, hit him with another flamethrower. Let's go. What's next? What you got from me? Velusa. Uh, we'll switch out. Let's go with Lips again. This might be a sacrifice by Lips for the team, but we're doing what must be done. I don't know what Velusa is. Oh, it's a, it's a fish. I probably could have sent out Catnip and did just fine. Okay. This is actually very unfortunate. Let's go with Crunch. Oh, no. Oh, you did a great lips. You did what you had to do. We're going to send out Catnip here. And Catnip, hopefully, can finish this off level 70. Catnip leveled up a lot during this adventure. Okay, let's go with... Let's go with Flower Trick to guarantee a knockout here. I love that move so much, bro. That move is so good. Truly a devastating blow. That deserves a standing ovation. Thank you. Easy. Good goats. Uh, I want to say we'll keep going, but I kind of don't want to say that. So we'll go with Mullet here again to use Intimidate. 
You did great, Catnip. There we go. Mullet's out. Ah, it was a grass type, which is good for us. And we'll use a flamethrower here. Good job. And they're burned. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a waste of a bulk up, considering you're about to get absolutely railed by this next flamethrower and by the regular burn you already have. All right, flamethrower again. Finish this off, bullet. Easy. Avalug. That seems like it would be an ice type Pokemon. I'm going to go with Overbite here. Even though I have no idea what it is, I'm not sending out Catnip because if it is an ice type, then we're, we're just going to get destroyed. So, I mean, Overbite still might get destroyed. I'm pretty sure that ice type moves are still super effective against Garchomp, but I won't feel as bad, as, as terrible as it sounds. All right, let's go with Bulldoze. Why did I go with Bulldoze? I'm pretty sure it's not very effective at all. Yep. Oh, good job. What's the matter? You're not one to let something so insignificant fluster you. When did it fluster me? Good job, Overbite, for toughing it out. Anyway, bite him. Bite him as hard as you can. Bite that icicle. Lower his defense for us. He did not lower the defense. Okay. Unfortunate. All right, we'll send Mullet back out there. Lower the attack and then hit him with flamethrower. Okay. Mullet, get back in there. Good, good. Oh, never mind. Did not know that was a thing. Let's go with flamethrower. Easy. All right. What's next? What you got from me? Glamora. Let's switch out. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with Mistletoad here. I don't know what that is. Or did she have multiple Ice State Pokemon? I don't think she did. I think she's, she has a variety of Pokemon. So, hmm. Don't think you've won just yet. Is this your last Pokemon? What is that? A flower? Well, that is her last Pokemon. Okay. Let's go with Sucker Punch, maybe? Let's go Poison Jab. I don't know what that is. Be the light that guides all trainers, Glamora. Hmm. Oh? What is it going to turn into? What? Is that ground type thinking? Earth power. All right, it is. Yeah, you. You kind of messed up. Because if. Yep. All right, Catnip is about to smack some cheeks. Toxic to Breeze. We're going to end this. It's going to be poetry the way this ends. We're going to sucker punch first off. So this is going to be poetry the way it ends. Because Catnip is going to end this. We're going to terrestrialize and we're going to end it with Flower Trick. Why. Oh, I, th I, thought they had, I thought they spread more poison spikes. Like, they didn't just do that a second ago. All right, Missile Toad, you did your best. It's time to end this. Catnip, get out there. Might feel a little poison. I'm sorry about that. All right. Battle. Terrestrialize. Flower Trick. End it, Catnip. Hopefully, you're faster. Watch this. Poetry. This is poetry. Ending it with our starter after terrestrializing. Let's go. Snap on him real quick. Let's go. Good job, Gatnip. Let's go. We did it. Hmm. 
thinking thoughts and getting clapped by me you go beyond my imagination so easily that's not a lot of, that's not a lot of money you gave me for beating the elite four plus you huh Twelve thousand. that's it chump change that doesn't even cover, cover the cost of the supplies i bought that i didn't have to use such overwhelming power such amazing skill it seems Paladia has gained another wonderful trainer to be proud of. Congratulations. It's my honor It's my honor to call you Champion Jen. Congratulations is right. Now I can really say you're good to go. Hello. Hello. What? You did it, mister. Thank you. Poppy, you were standing there the entire time. Congratulations. Thank you. You're just amazing. I can't, I can't hold it in anymore. Uh, Hassle's kind of weird, but, you know, fair enough. I appreciate it. You Pokemon trainers are the treasure of Paldia. And amid the treasure, champions are the jewels that shine brightest. Champion Gen, it is now your duty to set an example for all of the trainers in Paldia. Now allow me to walk you back to the entrance. I'm certain you'll find a familiar face awaiting you. Oh, we're going to be facing Champion Nemona as Champion Gen. Can you heal my Pokemon first before we do this? Gen! Gen! Hello. Oh, man. I can tell just looking at you. You did it, right? You became a champion? Yeah, I did. I knew all along. I got word from La Primera when you cleared the elite test. Oh, man, Jen. I'm a champion, and now you're a champion. Which means we're true equals. You and me, both champion-ranked trainers. This is amazing. Now that you've made it here, I've got one thing to say. Let's say you and me be the best rivals for life. You know what? I started this adventure... Being very mean to Mona, saying I didn't want to be her friend. And her obsession with battling is still kind of creepy to me. But she has grown on me. So you know what? Yeah, let's go for it. All right. You know what rivals do? Battle their absolute hearts out. I'm going to hit you with everything this time. You ready? Do wait a moment, champion Nimona. What's the matter? The champion assessment has only just ended. I believe arrest is in order for champion Jen, Gyarados, and the others. Champions must be understanding toward their opponents. Ah, right. There I go getting overexcited again. Sorry, Jen and Gyarados. I also must ask, is this roadside really the setting you two want for your first battle as true equals and rivals? Hmm, now that you mentioned it, that's a good point. In that case, can we use the Pokemon League battle courts? Surely there is somewhere more fitting, a place with special meaning for the two of you, perhaps. Special meaning, huh? Hmm, let me see. Anywhere leap to mind, Jen? Uh, the treasure eatery. I say, I forgot where we first met, but I do kind of want to say behind the house. Our beach out back, huh? Yeah, the place where we had our first battle might work. But on the other hand, to me, it's just kind of my backyard, do you know? A little ordinary. Any place else come to mind? Uh, I guess Mesagoza. Mesagoza. Oh, good call. The place where we set out on our journey. That reminds me, Jen. Remember back when Director Clavel explained the treasure hunt? You know how he told us to go in our uh, in search of our own treasure? Well, I knew what treasure I got out of all this. I found a true rival, someone who could stand up to me at my full capabilities. That's right, I mean you. I'm so glad I got to meet you, Jen. Anyway, that being said... Hmm? I'll be waiting for you at the Battle Court in Mesa Goza's Central Plaza. See you there. The respect you two share is palpable, even a bit enviable, to be honest. I am known as La Primera, but even when facing me in the final test of her champion assessment, champion Nimona didn't reveal her full might. In you, I suspect she has found someone she can battle without holding anything back. Huh. So she's better, is what I'm hearing. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go to Mesagoza. I'm pretty sure our team should still be fine when it comes to defeating uh, Nimona. I hope. Anyway, because I'm going straight there. I'm going straight to throw paws. Speaking of which, I got to put uh, catnip up front. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Put catnip up front. And let's go battle Nimona. We meet again, Nimona. It's his eye, the true rival. The one and only. Any second now. Ah, there you are, Jen. You ready for a battle between champions? Everybody's showing up. Because all these folks here seem ready to watch. Word got around, I guess. 
in, out of every single person gathered here. And I'm most excited by a mile. This is actually a cool, a cool scene. I like this. Larry, what's up? The stage is set. It's my all out power. Versus your strength in full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. Let's go! The final battle, the boss battle. You were challenged by Champion Nimona. Let's go. Are you using the, okay, so she's using the same team from this entire journey. Finally, the thing I've wa uh, waited all this time for, time to begin our greatest battle of all. So this is her trying her hardest. Okay, got it. Let's go with Flower. Should we Terrestrialize here? Let's Terrestrialize here just in case. Nah, uh, no. I want to see if I can save it for when they send out uh, Quaxel. So let's use Flower Trick and hopefully it knocks out. Yep, knocks out Lake and Rock. Okay, cool. To think I helped teach you type matchups and now you're using them to put the herd on me. Did you teach me that? A critical hit at a critical moment. That goes beyond luck. You got some kind of... The move literally says guaranteed to crit. Nimona, please stop saying it like I, I'm not good at what I'm doing. All right, they're sending out Palm Mutt, so I'm going to go with Overbite here. And we'll use Bulldoze. And Bulldoze should hopefully knock out Palmut in a single move. A single turn. I really wish I had Earthquake, though. But I guess it really doesn't matter. Bulldoze has been serving me well. There we go. Easy. What's next, Nimona? Gudra. Uh, we'll keep going. So I'm pretty sure dragon type moves are super effective against Gudra. So I'm pretty sure Gudra is a dragon type. I can be wrong here though. Let's go Dragon Claw. Yep, perfect. Overbite, you're doing great. The Dunsparce. Uh, don't remember what Pokemon that is, but we'll keep fighting. Oh, isn't that a normal type? Uh, we'll go with Bulldoze here in case it's fast. But it's not fast. Okay. That was a crit. That didn't do a lot of damage. Dragon Rush. Oh, this is bad. That's very bad for me. How'd you like my real hard hits? Man, it feels good to finally let loose. You have knocked out zero of my Pokemon. You're talking a lot of smack. You're down three. About to be down four. Oh, never mind. Down four after this one. Overbite's been doing great, though. Now down four. Pa -pa. Look at ya. Okay. What's next? Orthworm. Orthworm? Uh, let's switch. And I'm pretty sure Catnip can one-shot this. Just in case... I'm going to send out Lip. I want to guarantee Catnip for the final hit again. So we will save this for... We'll save Catnip for when they send out Quaxel. Oh, it's so cute. It's. I thought it'd be... I, for some reason, I was thinking of the huge Earthworm. Uh, let's go with Waterfall here. Is he going to flinch? No. Unfortunate. Okay. We'll do Waterfall again. Come on, flinch. Nope. All right, we're just going to keep hitting each other with the same move. I got it. I understand. We run it back. Oh, it's one little itty-bitty way. Oh, it flinched. Ha, loser. Little dumb, stupid loser. Little dumb worm. I'm sorry, you're, you're really cute. All right. Quacks, quacks, uh, quack, quavel, quack, quavel. Either way, your starter and my starter about to go at it. Come back, lips. Catnip, get out there.
It's all down to this. My last Pokemon. We're going to fight with everything we've got. It's going to be sad when you get one-shotted. All right. Terrestrialize and Flower Shrick. Let's go! Catnip, flex on him. Victory Screech! Yeah! Now your turn. Shine blazingly bright, my greatest treasure. Hmm? This is such a cool way to end it. Both of us terrestrializing our final Pokemon. And then me one-shotting them with Flower Trick. Snap on him. Snap on him real quick. Let's go! Let's go! I have not seen Quick Quavel use a single move. Ever. I think. Every single time it's come out, Catnip has one-shot it. Oh, are you crying? Whose Tauros is that? Oh? Hello? You... You did it! This is legit incredible. You're the strongest out there, Jen. Oh! I mean, you knocked me flat and I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... I... Oh! She has snapped. She has lost her mind. Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever even knew. Hmm. Hello? Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me for real this time. Oh, were you not trying the other times? And then the crowd goes wild. Now let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break, Jen. Before round, before round two. <laughs> Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions. Oh, we're stuck in a perpetual battle loop against Nimona. Oh, victory road. The storyline is done. I guess the only storyline we have left is the Arvin storyline, but I don't know how to get there yet. Oh, hey, Arvin. Whoa, down, boy. Don't jump up like that. Seems like hearing your voice has old Mabo stiff here all worked up, Jen. Oh, but that's not why I called. Nearly forgot. You remember what we talked about before? About going to Area Zero? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course you do. You little know-it-all got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Well, all that effort you've been putting in around Paldi has really helped you make a name for yourself. Built up some goodwill, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. That should have us ready to tackle anything. So now we're, uh, we've are we all just got to get there. First step, we'll be gathering at Area Zero. I'll be ready and waiting at the Zero Gate. I'll send you the location on your phone too. Don't leave me hanging forever. Okay. Understood. We'll be waiting. <laughs> 